Okay, pilots. <clears throat> I've been trying to work a little bit on the stuff on the plane here. And I got I got got the painting and got it almost done. I got had a little bit left on my fuselage there, and I ran out of paint. Didn't mix up enough paint. And plus, I ran out of thinner, cleaning the gun up. So I've got to wait on some thinner. I've got some more paint mixed up. It might be just shade different. I might have to go back over to other things a little bit. But while I was painting it, I come across this right here. They, they, when they put the horn in for the flapper, they've got the tip of the tip of it there sticking out through the wing there, and it's just a sharp point where they stick it right in and just glue it. It doesn't have a screw and backing on it. So I gotta get rid of that. Now it's nothing but plastic. Putting some paint on it anyway, so oh, come on. Okay. Well, there's nothing else more. Now, I'm gonna stretch it. Now, I've got to put a LED in this wing. Show you something after I get one more nub here drilled down, ground down. Try not to hit the paint on this one. I just want to knock it down a little bit. I ain't got no more brown left. Smooth enough, I ain't got no more brown left. I got to just nib that down a little bit. That feels good. Felt like it wanted to come through there, but I believe I got it stopped. But the guns, pilots, they, they got these big guns. And I'm gonna to try to make this in like a Mark II, Mark V, something like that that was in the North African campaign. And, and I don't think they had them big guns. I think they had, actually had two like eight millimeter, close to eight millimeter machine guns and, and maybe one bigger machine gun. So what I've done is, is I've cut me a little filler piece there and filled that hole up. And then I put my LED light inside there for my landing light into that one. All right, and then I got this one, like I said, it's getting, got green. And I'm gonna get my cover here, it's gonna go on it. Let's see if I can get it on there. Something similar to that, when I can get done. With the decal sheet, it comes with these red squares here, and that's or triangle, or yeah, I mean not squares, but uh, rectangles. And you place them over the wing edges where the guns barrel were. See, 
and that covered the gun barrel so moisture and, and dirt and dust and stuff and sand wouldn't get all into the guns. And once you fired, it put a hole in it, you know, there. And that was it for that one. So you had to peel it off and put a nut on it. <clears throat> but where that big gun is, is I just took me a piece of styrofoam pipe. I mean, I, I, you know, cut two holes, put it down in there, and just got it smooth where I can stick that decal over it. And I'm going to use this one for the landing light. But first, I've got to get my gear down. And I went ahead and on the other wing checked everything, so let's go ahead and do it on this one. That'd be the gear. I figured that'd be the gear. About an inch sticking out the wing there. But you've got to plug into something. Number five. And the flaps. Believe it or not, it came with flaps. This is version three. It came with flaps. Came with improved landing gear. And the landing gear did work on the other one. I mean, we ain't got no problem with it. I've got to lower it because my landing light's gonna come, my lead's gonna come down through here, go inside the bay, landing, landing gear bay, and come back up and come across. My other lead's gonna come across here and tee into it. Have this up. Radio on. And I have power. Make sure ain't nothing gonna hit me. Okay. Do I have flaps? Yes, I have flaps. This, this is only a two way switch, so it's only one of two positions. Run. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it sounded like it was battling, but it got there. Okay. Yes. Okay, with my razor. Make me, actually, I'm not gonna be cutting this way. I'm gonna be cutting around, let's see, this way. I'm going this way so I can go up under this lip right here. I want to, I like going up under that lip right there. But first of all, let me poke a hole. I gotta get a hole started. That hole big enough for that insulation on that landing light to go through and not really be loose, but go through. Because that's actually going to be holding. I'm going to put a drop of tour glue in there, but that's going to be holding the light there.
kind of cutting a trench in. Almost made the other one over there. Another wing a little too short. I couldn't get the wire stuck back up into this trench right here. Because it was so tight. So I had to take all this back out again and push that bulb in as much as I could. Get as much out of this one. Push that landing line in as far as I could get with that one to get that wire finally. I was just a little bit off on my measurements, I reckon. Making this in here, just kind of swagging it, and it's all hidden when the gear is down. But the only mistake I made was putting my decal on out right here before I put my land, uh, my leads down. So I'm gonna got to cut this decal now. Take a, a flathead screwdriver, a little small screwdriver, and go up through that groove where I just cut. So it would open it up a little bit and let that lead get down in there. Especially on these diamonds. My goodness, I don't know what it is, these things. Look, just listen. Just listen. They're like glue. <laughs> now I've got to cut one to go from here. Over to here. <clears throat> yeah, I've just been feeling weak and sore, a little stuffy. I can get doing a little something on these plane, this plane here in about 20 minutes. I'm ready to stop and kind of take a break. I've got to put my jointing lead there, my wire harness tagging right there. I hope where it lined up last time. cover where I'm wanting it kind of press I'm, I'm kind of pushing inward here to get a good line here on the corners See? pushing inward and then coming out to the edges and squeezing there a little bit around the edge of the LED cover so we're going to make it a good imprint around the edge there and then not quite a quarter of an inch, but just a little bit. I'm gonna make my cutout for the LED bulb. This is a Dynam Spitfire. Dynams come without the decals on them. That's kind of what I like about them. And yeah, they'll have, they might have a little tweak here and there you gotta do to it. Sometimes the tail wheel gives you a little trouble, but it, it seemed to work fine on this one. 
And I want the census wing is kind of thin up there at the end. So all I'm really gonna be able to do is just kind of cut an area here, a little square, just for that LED to set in. And the cover's actually gonna be holding it in. I mean, I could, I can put glue around it, but you know, once I glue the LED cover on, it's gonna be holding that line in. So just like right there. Just like so. Now right here, yeah. now right here on the end, I've got to make that groove a little bit wider so that that insulation will fit down there. So just making it a little bit wider. Not much, but just a little bit. And you take your blade and just kind of poke at it there with the, the dull end, not the sharp end, but the dull end. And it'll, it'll push all that loose up. And I like to always start at this end. Even though you got plenty of lead, you know, you, I like to go all around these corners and curves up here. And I like to start with my black lead up. Cause it kind of hides better. Put your bulb, place your bulb where you want it and take that little small screwdriver. Just get that insulation pushed down in there. And sometimes when a wing's pretty thick out here on the end, you can drill a hole and have it coming out up here somewhere. But this one's so thin. Let me make sure my bulb is sitting straight. I'm trying to keep that black lead up. Like I said, it just seems to hide better. When the plane was red, like on my PC-21, I left the red lead up, man, and it just kind of blend on in. Now, sometimes when you go through these decals, if you, after you've pressed it down, after a while, the foam will fill back out and just cover it up most of the time, and, and usually you don't even see it no more. It just looks like another panel line there. I'm just kind of pressing it in there a little bit with the red lead down. Not really getting it in there a whole lot, but just enough to hold it there. So I can get to the end of this decal. Take the blade of that screwdriver and just kind of get shoved down in there a little bit. do that all the way up through here make my tie in just like I done see right there on that one I mean that's the ending result here here's my cut across and into the servo lead and I took one of my go get -ems and shoved it up through here up to the end of that pulled my lead back through and I'm ready to go glue the LED covers on so 
There's my update. I just got to get that fuselage finished up. Check out my, look at my canopy. I like my canopy. It's pretty cool. I put a decal in in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it didn't come with one. I don't understand it. It usually does. And I changed the pilot out. Okay, pilots. Till the next one. I'm out.